Ark Survival Ascended is one of the original casualties of the Unreal Engine 5. It exposed the flaws of UE5 right before it became known for its stuttery and optimization issues. Originally a remake of Ark Survival Evolved, the game is infamous for its performance even on the fastest GPUs, often requiring frame gen for portable frame rates of 60 FPS and higher. In this one, we'll recommend the optimized graphics settings, including engine tweaks for the GeForce RTX 3060 and the 4060 for a stable 60 FPS experience at 1080p using a mix of medium and high quality settings. Here we have Arc Ascended running at 1080p with DLSS quality mode upscaling on the GeForce RTX 4060 desktop GPU. We're using the high quality graphics preset and the game performs miserably. We're looking at averages of under 30 FPS for most of the time. We drop to the early 20s in vegetation rich areas. This is far from what you'd expect from a 60 class GPU at the high quality settings at 1080p with upscaling enabled. Before we move on to the performance optimizations, here are a couple of quality tweaks that greatly improve fidelity. Arc Ascended is infamous for its blurry shadows, virtual shadow maps, and flickering caused by Lumen GI. We don't recommend switching from via virtual shadow maps to standard shadow maps because after the latest patch, virtual shadow maps actually perform better than standard shadow maps. But we can still stabilize the flickering caused by Lumen GI. This is what we're talking about. Now the console command we're using here is adjusts the intensity of uh, light used by the screen folks for the propagation in the final gather. This might make the screen, make the display, make the scene look a little washed out. So if that's the case, you can go with instead of one. This drastically improves the stability of the scene, reducing the flickering. You can further uh, increase the temporal distance threshold for the screen poke gather. This reduces the discard rate for the previous frame data with distance. 0.2 is generally a good value. This eliminates, these two eliminate most of the flickering caused by Lumen GI, indirect diffuse lighting. We also recommend disabling screen trace based HCB traversal. This slightly reduces the lighting quality for uh, vegetation and other finer foliage. It can improve performance while traversing through them. Furthermore, we recommend setting the full screen space or gather maximum accumulated frames to 8 or 4 to reduce shimmering and other noise artifacts. This can lead to slight ghosting but it's not really noticeable.
Here are the console commands and the engine.ini trees we're using for the performance optimizations. We're primarily disabling volumetric clouds and reducing the nanite complexity. This drastically improves the performance by as much as 25%. With these two adjustments, we're above 40 FPS for most of the gameplay. Over 45 FPS in scarcely populated areas and around 43-44 FPS in densely forested areas. These two peaks are sufficient to average well over 60 FPS with frame gen. You can even max out the foliage quality, the shadow quality, and the advanced graphics settings. And the DLSS frame gen, we're averaging around 70 to 75 FPS. This is a very fluid experience, as long as you're all right with frame gen and its hiccups. If frame gen isn't your thing, then you will need to drop a few of the settings for a more consistent performance. Advanced graphics to medium, view distance to medium, anything lower than medium for view distance and you're going to see a lot more popping. Shadows are best left at epic because the performance gains are minimal and it leads to incredibly noisy silhouettes. Global illumination is set to high, performance gains below that are nominal, effects quality is reduced to low for a massive 10 to 15% performance gain, and foliage quality works best at medium. Foliage quality adjusts the density of grass and pebbles and other rocks on the surface. We also disable lumen reflections using a console command. Following these tweaks, you should average 60 FPS in most areas with drop to 54, 55, early 50s in densely populated forested areas. We found this to be completely playable and a smooth experience without many hiccups. If you prefer a more consistent, constant 60 FPS, then you'll have to reduce foliage quality to low. This reduces the density of foliage and on-ground uh, geometry, but you get a more consistent 60 FPS almost all the time. These settings yield a consistent 60 FPS on the GeForce RTX 4060 desktop GPU. If you're running an RTX 3060 or a 4060 laptop GPU, all these settings and tweaks still might not be enough. So we recommend disabling Lumen GI and switching to screen space globe illumination. You can do this by uh, using this console command.
dynamic illumination method to to move. Now, yes, this will lead to a bit of flickering for the vegetation. You can get rid of that by setting SSGI quality to 4 or 5. This is a much more stable experience, averaging close to 70 FPS on the 4060 desktop GPU and should average between 50 to 60 on the 3060 and the 4060 laptop GPU. All these console commands can be added to the engine.ini file so you don't have to enter them every time you launch the game. We'll be installing the commands along with the instructions on where to place the file in the description. Let us know how this video worked for you and if you'd like similar content in the future.